What's up guys back for another video and in this video I want to clean these daylilies up So we're just gonna kind of because they're not fully dead But I just they look horrible and they're not really helping the root system anymore. So I'm going to clean them up looks much better um just it's so late in the season they're all slopped like this and it gets so hard to cut them when they and these ones are harder to pull than the other ones like we have but uh, it gets hard to cut and do anything with them when they get real dry like that so i'm gonna clean them up now so if the majority of the job is done then we can just grab this stuff and tear it out when spring comes but the majority of the job is done when we get them down to those stubs <laughs> Alrighty guys, and this is the plants. Now some may say that that was early, but it's actually not. Yes, the plants were still green. However, um, I always do this after that first frost that sets them on the ground, which was um, yesterday. Yesterday when I posted that video in the morning, it was 23 degrees, just ended the growing season right there. These plants can no longer do anything else with this green. Leaving them at this point would have been for aesthetic purposes, and they were on the ground basically. This one here didn't look bad, but now they're at least a little bit further down and cleaner for the season. Um, you know, come spring, I'll have to pick this stuff out, but that'll be easier than that whole thing of sludge and wet bugs and diseases that could be spreading in there. So just having them clean like this will help a lot for doing that in the spring. You can see there, you know, the sun, they're pretty level to the ground there. Wait, if you look at that. Um, so they actually look quite nice like that. So yeah. That is the process of cutting back the dailies for the, and they're a little high, so I will take them down further. Although in the spring, this will all be settled, this growth, it'll all be on the, on the ground dead. Um, but yeah, that one over there was pretty full, so it looks pretty nice. So then I just take that down to ground level come spring, which is, um, that's why I cut them before they get sl smushy, like sloshy and dead, because then they're hard to cut. Even with that strong, sharp hedge pruner wouldn't cut through some. So I always cut them after that first frost over here with these thicker daylilies and they look quite nice. Yep, it's a daily cutting. We'll see you guys in the next one.